Are dental veneers a permanent cosmetic treatment? Yes, in the fact that they're non-reversible in most cases, but not in regard to needing to occasionally have them be replaced. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Joyce. Today I'm gonna to talk about five situations when you need to replace your dental veneers. Now getting veneers usually requires a bit of an investment. I have a separate video on how to care for your veneers and get them to last as long as possible. But at a certain point, there's a chance that you'll need to have your veneers updated eventually. Just like dental fillings and crowns, older cosmetic restorations do eventually have to be replaced with newer ones. The first example of when this usually happens is if you chip or crack a veneer. Maybe you use your teeth to rip open a package or you're biting your fingernails and you slip and then your teeth hit end to end. It could also be that you get bumped in the mouth during a neighborhood basketball game and weren't wearing a mouth guard. Or maybe you're grinding your teeth together when you sleep. Veneers are not invincible. They can chip, crack, or wear down just like your teeth. Unfortunately, it's not possible to patch over a chipped veneer long term. If you tried, the patch area just keeps falling off. The only solution is to remove the entire thing and place a completely brand new veneer. Second is if you get a cavity around your dental veneer. Even though tooth decay doesn't physically form inside of porcelain or composite materials, it can still develop around it. In this case, maybe you weren't flossing routinely or were drinking a lot of sports drinks and sweet tea, resulting in constant exposure to acids and bacteria. Over time, the enamel around the edge of your veneer can easily develop a cavity. When that happens, the decay will usually spread underneath your veneer the same way it would a crown or filling. Anytime this scenario happens, you have to treat the cavity quickly before your need for a new veneer turns into needing something bigger like a crown or a root canal. The third reason you will want to replace your veneers is when the margins around your veneers are starting to give out. We call these leaky margins. In other words, there's not a tight seal around the edge of the veneer where it meets up with your tooth. Leaky margins are bad for several reasons, the biggest one being that bacteria can seep right into the tooth in that spot. Unless you replace these restorations quickly, it's like a ticking time bomb before you get cavities underneath them. Leaky margins are usually a sign that your veneers are older. They form around old fillings and crowns too. Thankfully, your dentist can check for leaky margins during your routine checkups. Number four is that your veneers are stained. Porcelain veneers are fairly stain resistant, but if you expose them to a lot of stain causing foods and drinks like tomato sauce or red wine, you can start to see staining around the edges of the veneer. But most of the time, when we talk about stained veneers, we're referring to composite resin veneers or chairside veneers. Composite is a lot more porous than porcelain, similar to tooth enamel. So naturally, it can soak up and absorb stain particles. Maybe it's your morning cup of coffee, iced tea, or weekly homemade spaghetti sauce. Over time, these meals or beverages stain your composite veneers the same way they would stain your teeth except you can't bleach veneers to make them whiter and the stains aren't something that you can polish off. So you have to replace the veneers altogether. Last but not least, the fifth scenario where you would need to replace your veneers is if they're older and one of them comes off. Since it's best to have your veneers designed and placed all at the same time, you typically don't want to have a patchwork of one or two new dental veneers mixed in with older ones. This can cause your teeth to not match up correctly and make it difficult to match newer veneers in the future. Aesthetically speaking, we want to handcraft all of them with the same materials, and this ensures consistent looking results that are more natural and blend well overall. My recommendation is to see your dentist regularly for professional cleanings and checkups every six months. That way they can consistently monitor your oral health needs and help you plan ahead if you're getting closer to needing new dental veneers. Even if your smile is healthy, regular exams can help you stay ahead of some issues that could damage your veneers. In turn, you'll get the most out of your investment. I'm Joyce the Dentist. Smile smarter, everybody.